Hello. I probably shouldn't show you the Dairy Queen in the back, but I think that's old. Or no, it's not. I had a Sunday of eating a lot of food, but for the other days, I've been doing fine. So I'm not going to berate myself too bad for missing one day. So yeah, suck it. Basically, I titled this called Betting on Myself because I have decided to do a diet bet, dietbet.com, Wayfinder, I think is another way, way better or something like that, the company. Basically, you take a picture of yourself, you weigh yourself, weigh yourself with a photo of a picture, and then you keep track. I'm doing a transformation, which is a six months thing, which is about how long I've been doing this because my goal is to lose 50 pounds by December. So I can, when I, if hopefully there are flights, fly down to Austin to visit my, uh, am I bouncing? Visit my sisters on a plane. I'm not completely just out of whack or out of, you know, just uncomfortable. 350 is really the minimum of feeling good while flying being above that is just miserable 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 i just want to be kind of miserable and so it's 10 percent, and since it's actually more higher than the 350 i'm shooting for by that december i decided to go for it and do this diet bet to kind of like help me feel more motivated and, and the last couple diet beds i've done i've failed failed miserably but this one is $75 a month, which is, in my humble opinion, a lot of money. And so my thought process on this is if I have a significant amount of money and if you make your weight goals, you are guaranteed to at least get your money back, get $75 back. Because what I've read is if you want to actually kind of make some money with diet bet, where like every all the money goes in the pool, if you don't make it, you don't get you lose the money. If you make your weight goal, you get the money. But the idea is the more expensive the diet bet, the less money you get because the more people will succeed because they don't want to lose the money and more people end up quitting earlier because, they, you know, <laughs> they want the money. And cause so, uh, but I, so I'm not doing this for the money. I'm doing this for the idea of $75 a month times six, which is, well, 75 times two was 150 times three is $450. So $450 is a significant amount of money if I don't make it. Plus, I'll be uncomfortable on my $400 flight round trip. I don't want that either. So it's all about getting myself kind of psyched for that. And thus, so I'm still doing the fan fan steak, skipping a meal and eating one bigger meal. You know, one thing I remember was a kid, I remember seeing this uh, diet commercial and I was like, you got to eat because the idea is you put kindling on a fire and it burns faster. But is that really what you want thinking about it as an adult? Because if you eat all day and you're constantly putting kindling, which gives you a lot of energy, but it also means you have to constantly eat. You constantly have to think about food. And they put a big log on the fire and they say that takes a longer time to burn. But that also means it takes a longer time to digest. And thus, you're not hungry for longer. And that's one thing I've noticed. I mean, this probably doesn't work for everyone. As I said, I've done the small six meals a day, small meals and I was miserable. I hated life. I hated everything about life. And so when I have done intermittent fasting before, I felt better. So for my body, if I go by my feelings, unless I'm lying to myself, why is it bouncing? Weird. If I'm lying to myself, that's, well, I'm lying to myself. But I feel better when I skip a meal a day and I don't eat as much processed foods. Uh, I know there's a lot of uh, negativity towards lower carb meals, but I'm not going keto in a sense because keto is like 20 carbs. Um, but the you know, the idea is like 20, 20 carbs, and that's just like greens, and there's so it's eating mostly unprocessed food, so more of a paleo type thing is what I'm doing. It's trying to eat not as many processed, you know, just fruits and vegetables and, and healthy meats, as many healthy meats as I can afford. Healthy meats are expensive, great, great grass-fed beef 
is pricey. Oh, don't get me started on healthy chickens. Those things are so pricey. It's like four times the price for a chicken that's not cooped up and in terrible conditions. Those things are like $1.99 a pound. Good healthy chicken is like $7 a pound. So maybe not seven, but like $5 a pound. It's like three times the price. It's harder to eat healthy in this world. So I think it's a lot about making better choices. And also better choices for you. Oh, I just want to show you, this is not my Tua jersey. This is my Tua shirt. It says Tongue of Ilo on the back. It says number one. I'm super excited. I'm so psyched. Even though I don't believe football is going to happen, I still have hope that it will, even though just the way the world, this pandemic sucks, and there's going to be no football. So anyway, uh, continuing down my path, uh, working on my life, working on myself, and stepping up to who I am. So once again, be loved, be joy, be awesome. <laughs>